Well, the market is growing quite nicely. It's, uh, we estimated it'll hit about a billion euros in 2019, give or take. Uh, and that's particularly measured as the, the revenues of the vendors who specialize in CDP systems. There will be other customer data technology, of course, that's not included in that. Um, there are 80 or 100 or so vendors worldwide who are specialist CDP systems, and they're very varied. It's one of the more interesting things about the CDP market is that some systems only assemble data, some systems do the data assembly and analytics, and some do the data assembly and the analytics and the personalization. So there are a wide variety that lets different companies choose the kind of systems they need. Uh, we see the development of the market continue. We see additional specialization. So we now see systems that are just for retail or just for financial services or just for travel. We see systems that are more focused on very large companies or very small companies. We see systems that are, that are in regional markets, particular national markets as well. So we see a lot of growth and a lot of splitting. Maybe at some point they'll all come together and it'll be a consolidation, but there's very little evidence of that so far. Actually, there is a substantial difference. The European market has tended to buy the systems that are more full in their scope of functionality. So not just the ones that assemble data, but they also tend to buy the ones that, that, that do analysis and do the personalization as well. We think that's because uh, often many of the European companies are a little smaller than the US companies. So they tend to have fewer resources. So it's more important for them to be very efficient in their purchasing. So they have to buy one system instead of three separate systems for those functions. Uh, they also uh, tend to have somewhat smaller databases, which again leads you to, to, to want a more comprehensive solution. So there are a number of reasons that we, that we think that the market is different, uh, but the overall trends are the same. You know, European consumers are like U.S. consumers in that they expect to be treated as individuals, and that requires the customer data that is assembled by the customer data platform. So the, the marketers in Europe are seeing the same pressures that the marketers see in the U.S. They use very similar technologies, so we do tend to see them sort of moving in the same direction. It's very interesting. It's hard to measure. We see quite a number of vendors in uh, France. We see quite a number of vendors in the U.K. Uh, the Netherlands, for whatever reason, is a small country, but it has a lot of uh, CDP vendors there. We had something in the water, we think. And, and then the other comp comp markets, not so much. They, you know, one in Germany, one in Poland, a you know, couple maybe in Italy. It's a little hard to tell. Uh, so, so it's concentrated in a couple of the larger markets.